Now to the battle in Libya. The House rejected a resolution giving President Obama the authority to use U.S. troops in Libya, but a vote to stop funding the military operation failed. Both votes will not change policy, but they did make a point that frustration in Washington is growing. After almost 100 days of NATO airstrikes, Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi is still in power. For some perspective on the battle in Libya, let's turn to former NATO Supreme Commander, retired General Wesley Clark. He's in Little Rock, Arkansas this morning. General, good morning to you. Morning, Russ. For 100 days ago, many people in this country, including the President of the United States, said that Muammar Gaddafi must go. He's still there. What happened? Well, I think, first of all, there was a, a misunderstanding about how vulnerable he, he was. Gaddafi's tough, he's charismatic, he's ruthless, he's experienced, he's smart. So he was never going to be a, a, a low-hanging fruit that was going to ripen and fall off the tree. This is going to be a very, very tough fight. It still is for the rebels. In your mind, what needs to be done to remove Gaddafi from power? Well, I think that uh, there is uh, a slow momentum against Gaddafi. The rebels are making some headway on the ground. I think a lot more needs to be done in the diplomatic area. Their government needs to come together. Uh, the pressure on neighboring states not to support, fund, or resupply Gaddafi has to be intensified. I think NATO needs to come together diplomatically. Uh, perhaps another United Nations Security Council resolution. Certainly some more measures uh, of support from the Arab League would be useful. All of these diplomatic efforts put pressure on Gaddafi and can help convince him that there's no way out for him. Earlier this week, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said kind of what you're just saying, that Muammar Gaddafi and his forces had their backs against the wall. When she says something like that specifically, what do you think she's talking about? Well, I think the reports from the ground show that the, the military actions, small-scale military actions with the NATO air support, are making a difference. They're certainly engaging Gaddafi forces in a battle of attrition, and he will eventually lose this battle of attrition. But we're a long way from forcing him out now, and so the political measures really need to be intensified at this stage, I believe. You said it will be a, a long time. Put a timetable on that, if you would, General. Any idea? Well, I wouldn't want to put a timetable on it, but I would tell you this, that NATO is not going to lose this, and the United States is not going to allow NATO to lose it. Whatever that means uh, in terms of specific actions will have to be revealed as the days go by. The United States does not want to take a leading role in this militarily, but the president, as well as the leaders of France and Britain, have called for Gaddafi to be out of power. And Gaddafi uh, is sorely mistaken if he thinks he can defy the will of NATO on this matter. Well, He's having, going to leave. Well, having said that, to go back to something you said earlier, this guy has been in power for 42 years. He's been to this party before. He's a wily guy. Is there the possibility that he's not going to leave power until he dies? Well, there's a possibility he's not going to leave power until he's uh, pulled out of a hole in the ground somewhere. But ultimately, uh, NATO is not going to give up on this. NATO is not going to lose. General Wesley Clark, as always, we appreciate it. Thanks so Thank much. You.